Erev Tov Chabrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. We have a very disturbing news broadcast this evening. This is something that happened in Copenhagen, Denmark, of all places, a, a country that you would believe is very civilized, uh, and no doubt many of the people are civilized there, but the police uh, really went to an extreme in the case of what you're about to see. The footage you're, you will see, there's two videos here I'll be sharing with you from RT News. They brought this story out yesterday, uh, and it is something reminiscent of what the Nazis did during the Holocaust with the Jewish people. Uh, this is supposedly being done on a cannabis uh, raid that's being done in this little community right here, uh, but no one no one there is left untouched practically. From women to bystanders, people that are videoing what's going on, they're all beaten as the police go by. I was, actually I've been working on a prophecy, a, a video for a prophecy I've been wanting to share with you guys anyway from the book of Baruch, uh, which is a, according to scholars, this is a late first century book that was written. Uh, Baruch was, a, they, they liken him to, similar to that of the prophet Jeremiah. Uh, but anyway, he wrote about things. This is in the, uh, the uh, Syrian uh, gospel is where this book can be found. And it states here in chapter 70, verse uh, 6, And when those things which were predicted have come to pass, confusion will fall upon all men. Some of them will fall in battle. Some of them will die in torment and pain. And some of them will be destroyed by their own people. Take a look at what's happening right here. This is, you got some sound. I don't have it up too loud. These are, these are unmarked uh, plainclothes officers here in black only, pushing the people back. Then he just takes this lady here, uh, starts pushing her around. These are just seem to be innocent bystanders. Uh, it doesn't matter who it is. Uh, they, uh, and it's fixing to get ugly here in just a moment. That's why I want to warn those watching. It's going to get ugly. If they're filming it, they're after those that are filming it. Uh, and they don't want no one to know what's about to go on. And it's very, very disturbing what you're about to see here. Uh, they go in there, they haul off some people, okay, well, if they're, if they're guilty of doing drugs, okay, but it's kind of an excessive force to come in there. Watch what goes on here, though. Now they're going to all go storming in there. Now, I don't know what's written in German here. See, look at here. It starts beating up on people. And it's going to get much worse. It's going to get much worse. We'll share with you here another clip here uh, of things that are going on here. Someone went up to try to give you an aerial view. This is one of the things that remind me of the Holocaust is the aerial view itself. There's police everywhere down there rounding up people, things of that nature there. Uh, now, let's quickly, let's turn. Like I said, this is RT News. Let me take you over to the top here. Police hit everyone. Danish officers use a baton on citizens. Violently detained man. Uh, this one here is the video where you're going to really see what goes on here. They, the, they're beating the guy with the camera as well because they don't want anybody filming what's going on. They don't want the people knowing what's going on. They're putting a bag over this other guy. Now they may they may indeed have cannabis in the plastic bag right there. So it's not to say that they're that they don't have. Um, it's not to say that they don't have what they they're claiming to arrest for, but to beat bystanders as well is just totally uncalled for. So, you see how they go? They go after the other people, just threatening them. And at one point, they're going to pull the man from the wheelchair as well. You, it's hard to see it. Uh, RT is, is speaking about it in their broadcast there. There he is. See, there, that's the guy right there. They've snatched him up from his wheelchair. 
I mean, this is just nuts. So. Again, I can't say, friends, you know, exactly what the problem is going on in here. Is it a bad part of town where they have to deal with a lot of issues? But the thing is, that there's, no, there's no reason to go out and beat all the bystanders as well. I mean, what causes that? You know, they're not being arrested. They're just being beaten. I mean, this is just like Nazi Germany. You know, beat the people you don't. You can see the guy on the top of the screen there being beaten as well. You know, they just, they just attack everyone. And the guy with the camera that they were beating there, uh, that's the one right there. He actually had a camera. You can see them beating him. Uh, that's the one that had the other camera that was on a webcam. I mean, they just bashed his skull in. He ended up being taken away by the ambulance, he ended up being hospitalized. All of his equipment was damaged as well, according to RT News and what they're reporting on here. Uh, this this just terrible, terrible. And, and to think this is happening, happening in Copenhagen, Denmark. I mean, friends, we got some serious things coming up. And when I share with you on this prophecies here that are in the book of uh, Baruch, it's very disturbing. Uh, one thing, let me just share this with you now while I have you here on the broadcast. Uh, this is in chapter 67. And anybody that ever thinks that Babylon doesn't refer to Rome, Baruch clears that, that up. I can see why the Vatican did not want this as part of the canon of Scripture. In chapter 67, verse 1, in the 11th black waters, which you have seen is the calamity which is now befalling Zion. That's 70 AD. Do you think that there is no anguish in the angels in the presence of the mighty one because Zion was delivered up in such a way or that the Gentiles boast in their hearts and amass before their idols? That speaks volumes right there. After they've destroyed the temple, now the Gentiles are amassed before their idols. Remember all the idols and the statues they had in Rome to begin with in ancient Rome? That only gave way to Papacy Rome and all the idols. In fact, uh, Zeus, or no, I'm sorry, Jupiter, the god for Jupiter is sitting in there as Peter, and he's worshipped as a god, as a statue there in the Vatican. All those gods were brought into the Vatican. Uh, but the one of, of, of Jupiter is actually in St. Peter's Basilica a god that was worshipped. They changed him around a little bit to try to make him a little, a little bit more saintly. But, you know, you don't bow down before idols. Anyway, the Gentiles say, she who so often trod down is now trodden down, and she who reduced others to slavery is now a slave herself. That's speaking of Israel. All right? Do you think that in these things the Most High rejoices or that His name is glorified? But how will it affect His righteous judgment? There's a lot of prophecies. Remember, we've read many of them in the book of Obadiah, etc., that speaks about the judgment of Esau. All right? Watch what it says. Because Zion is delivered up and Jerusalem has been laid waste, idols prosper in the cities of the Gentiles, and the cloud of smoke from the incense of the righteous, which the command is now extinguished in Zion. You remember how that the smoke would always uh, go, or the incense would go up before God as an offering unto the Lord. This was the pure offering. Mention Zion. Because Zion is delivered up, Jerusalem has been laid waste, idols prosper in the cities of the Gentiles, and the cloud of smoke from the incense of the righteous, which the commandment is now extinguished in Zion, in every place and surrounding Zion, there is no smoke in it. The king of Babylon, who has now destroyed Zion will arise and he will boast about being ruler over the people and he will speak great things in his heart in the presence of the Most High. The king of Babylon? That was Titus. In the presence of the Most High speak these things? Yes, he went right there in the Holy of Holies. 
and, and desecrated the Holy of Holies. He took a harlot in there and had sex with her right there, boasting that he was the ruler over the, over the Jews. And Beruah calls him the king of Babylon, a Roman, mystery Babylon, as we know, the mother of harlots. Her mystery Babylon, because Titus, who started this battle, the white horse rider for the Roman papacy that would follow him. And yes, they do do their smoke as well. In every place in the surrounding Zion, there is the smoke of sin. That's when those popes and priests are running around there, especially in Zion, and they're doing their little, their little incense back and forth. It's a smoke of sin, of sacrilege, because you see, you're not the children of Israel. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. I'm still working on the message that I've been wanting to, to bring out to you. We're going to be looking again at Babylon and some very interesting insights to go with our canon there from the book of Baruch. Uh, I want to share with you. And by the way, in chapter 67, verse 7, he calls the one that destroyed Zion the king of Babylon. Uh, and this is very obvious that it's reflected of the 70th week of Daniel. I believe that to be right anyway. In another place, he identifies him as Esau. And that's something that I want to share with you because that's what we see in Scripture. But what's fascinating is that he directly identifies the Romans as Esau. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom. Shalom.